World Health Day is celebrated on April 7th every year. It is an initiative taken by World Health Organization in order to raise awareness about the overall health and well-being of people across the world. The theme for this year's World Health Day celebration is building a fairer and healthier world. In commemoration of World Health Day, INSTEM is hosting an interview with Dr. Dhandapani Perundurai, who is a faculty at INSTEM. Cardiomyopathies are a group of heart muscle diseases that uh, represent significant proportion of heart failure and are the leading causes of heart transplantation. Dr. Dhandapani's research is focused on exploring new genes, mechanisms and relevant drugs that have significant clinical and curative impact on cardiomyopathies. It is a great pleasure to interact with him on this World Health Day. Dr. Dhandapani, what motivated you to enter into the field of cardiovascular biology and disease and why is cardiovascular health so important? So it all starts from my family. As I witnessed uh, many broken hearts in my family, both metaphorically and uh, literally. Uh, as my younger brother, my father and grandfather passed away due to heart failure, so according to the World Health Organization, family members like us are, are not alone and approximately more than 20 million people are affected with these conditions, making this as a leading cause of all deaths. Mm -hmm. So it is important uh, like to study the cardiovascular uh, disease. So apart from this, there is no cure for this particular disease. So in order to answer this question and uh, my family history of heart diseases, so I choose uh, to do research on cardiovascular biology. Uh, you mentioned about the genetic linkage with the cardiovascular disease. Could you please elaborate on the same a little more? So among uh, cardiovascular, there are many varieties. One of the varieties is uh, uh, cardiomyopathies. Uh, uh, which we study in detail. So okay. cardiomyopathies are mostly recognized as an inheritable cardiac diseases, meaning a single gene mutation can bring this disease. Uh, so genetics plays a huge role in these forms of disease, basically cardiomyopathies. Would you like to share your thoughts on how to acquire a good cardiovascular health and what are the most important factors for keeping our heart healthy? So that's a good question. So. Uh, the heart health basically depends upon two major factors. So one is food and the other one is exercise. So if you consider food, uh, the major foods that you should include in your diet is uh, uh, leafy green vegetables and whole grains and fruits and uh, fish which are rich in omega-3 uh, and nuts such as almond nuts which are great for omega-3 uh, source and beans and uh, it's been considered for the oil so uh, olive oils are the best compared to the other oils such as vegetable oil which include the pomelin oil which we should actually neglect and uh, uh, coming to uh, beverages you know uh, moderation of coffee and tea are great okay and uh, if you're doing alcohol uh, it should be in moderate moderate in the sense one drink per week so, uh, and the major things to avoid for the cardiovascular diseases, we say it as uh, five whites, mm -hmm. which include rice, maida, uh, dairy product, okay. and uh, sugar and salt. Recently, people are adapting new ways such as fasting for weight loss. Do you think that these ways work and which are the best ways among them? So, uh, fasting as a weight loss is, an, as, as you pointed out, it's a new trend. And there are many ways to do it and uh, people call it as in different ways and uh, uh, I, I, I make it as a kind of uh, timely fasting for example 12 is to 12 like 12 hour uh, fasting and 12 hour feasting and uh, 16 is to 8 uh, meaning like 16 hour fasting and 8 hour feasting and 24 hours fasting so each has its own merits and demerits but one has to think about which one suits them Okay. Uh, so, for to do so, you have to first start with 12 to 12 and uh, uh, step by step you, you can explore the other forms also. So fasting is a great way to uh, increase your anti-inflammatory genes activation. 
so in that way it will also helps in autophagy and thereby you know like it also helps in the heart health since you are a scientist i am asking this question does research become stressful sometimes and if yes what do you do for relaxation okay so uh, uh, that's you know like uh, basically uh, not only research you know stress is, is basically for all <laughs> in the work so in order to uh, overcome stress uh, what i usually do is like i uh, do exercise and uh, some sort of exercise will help so but i do weight training uh, three times per week and cardio two times per week and yoga is also great for uh, i mean reducing the stress and i do yoga for weekly once so these things are very important to maintain your stress level low what advice or suggestions you have for people on this world health day for acquiring a good health the advice from me is like eat healthy mm -hmm. uh, in the sense like uh, you actually design a, you know plate like as a kind of portion control okay. so your plate should have like 1 by 4 of vegetables and 1 by 4 of fruits and 1 by 4 of proteins okay. and 1 by 4 of the carb which which also includes basically the whole grains and a thumb of uh, fats especially good fats uh, such as olive oils and uh, even canola oil in some forms are good for heart so okay. and also stay active okay and uh, active in the sense like you can do the strength training weight training and cardio is very good for uh, heart especially and uh, uh keep your weight in check okay so weight loss is very important in this uh, aspect uh, so that uh, as many people scientists point out that obesity is actually uh, a comorbidity in causing the heart diseases also you know and uh, don't smoke if okay. you are smoking don't smoke and if you drink alcohol drink it in moderation as i mm -hmm. pointed out like uh, one drink per week okay. and uh, Uh, if you happen to uh, choose the alcohol choose red wine over the other alcohols and manage your stress okay. and which is very important and uh, to manage your stress uh, it's it you can actually do cardio and yoga which are good exercise to reduce the stress the final question would you like to share your personal journey in health aspects Okay so my personal journey in health aspect uh, starts in during my post doc mm -hmm. so during my graduate so i actually am little on the overweight side mm -hmm. so uh, and i started realizing in during my post doc and uh, then i started going to gym and okay. i started doing weight training mm -hmm. and three days per week and two days cardio and uh, i keep it as a consistent so and consistency is key here to okay. reduce your weight and uh, maintain your uh, weight basically so uh, from doing so basically i could able to shift my overweight side from 80 kg to 60 kg now it was a great pleasure to interact with dr dhandapani on this world health day thanks a lot for your inputs dr dhandapani thank you very much stay healthy mm -hmm.